third day. Yep. All right, we're going to start with Manalo. Yes, over here from Puerto Rico. Um, I just asked Jeremy about the way that Paul Mills have. I mean, you guys are, are a great team, and you also helped him on, you know, keeping his mind focused on, on you know, scoring and, and all those things. Tonight, he had six points, but big points. Can you talk a little bit about, about him? Um, that's what Sap does. I mean, Sap's been huge for us. Uh, like JG said, he's like, he's the OG of our team. Uh, he's been, uh, he's our vet. And um, he's been in a lot of situations. And, you know, we always know he's ready to play. And uh, he had big shots for us. All right, we're going to go to Sean Keeler. Hey, Gary, congratulations. Uh, you know, you guys have stepped up historically, obviously. How do you, how do you think this roster, this locker room is going to, react now once the, the glow from this kind of fades you get ready for the next series with being underdogs again that we're going to get the world again saying already oh it's the lakers this lakers that how do you think you guys are going to respond to that um i mean i don't think we worry about that at all i mean people didn't say we were going people when we were down to utah they, they thought we were done they thought we were done against the clippers um you know we don't really listen to the outside noise um we know what we have here uh we have a very talented group and uh we play together we stick together um Sky's the limit. So, uh, you know, we're going to enjoy this one, but now it's time to get ready for the Lakers and uh, see uh, see what we can do. All right, we'll go to Nick Cosmider. Gary, congratulations. Um, you know, not a lot of people get to come into the league and, um, you know, just the nature of the league to have the same coach, obviously not your first year, but every year since you, you've had it with Coach Malone. What What's it been like to go on this ride with him and for him to be a part of this with you guys um, and the role he's played in that? Um, it was fun. We kind of talked about it a little bit before game six. It's like, you know, with opportunity to force game seven, uh, you know, we remember what it was like this first year here. And uh, we just continue to grow, continue to build, and, uh, get better each year. And uh, we have a very talented team. And, uh, you know, I'm happy for us to, uh, you know, get that win. Uh, you know, we got to game seven of the, you know, the semifinals last year. And uh, we lost. And we didn't like that feeling. So it's good for us to, you know, get that win, go to the Western Conference Finals. And, uh Now it's time for us to lock back in. All right, we're going to go back to Sean Keeler. Yeah, yeah, piggybacking off that, what does it mean for you guys who've been around from the very beginning of Coach Malone getting here and seeing this growth, that Bulls and the in town have seen you grow, but now nationally folks are starting to figure that out too? So what's, your, what's, your, what's your question? Well, what's it mean for you guys who've been here 40 years and remember that Minnesota game, remember some of the – the tougher moments and the growth to get it's, 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 it's all been growing experiences and we've used all those experiences to uh to learn to get better and, you know those you know those losses kind of hurt at the time but uh you know we needed those losses to get to this point uh we, we're a team that never gives up uh even when our backs against the wall and uh you know at the end of the day we all we got and when we stay together it's all right we're gonna go to tj mcbride hey gary congrats on the win I was curious if there was any evolution in the team that you saw throughout the playoffs or if this was you guys just proving who you guys already are. We know how talented we are. And, uh, you know, we had, we had to go through certain obstacles. We, it wasn't going to be easy. Um, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. So uh, we had to fight. We had to claw. And, uh, you know, we're still, uh, you know, trying to push to reach our full potential. And uh, we just got to continue. Like I keep saying, we, as long as we stick together, uh, you know, I like our chances against anybody. All right, we got a follow up from TJ. Yeah, one more quick question. How has your guys' relationship, the whole team, to Michael Malone as your guys' head coach, impacted your ability to be able to keep this common thread of belief and never really saying die? I mean, I feel like we, we're all close. I mean, we've all been with each other. Uh, we're all, you know, a close group all around, close around the same age. Um, we've been with each other for a good three, four years now, the majority of us. Uh, And uh, we, we've experienced a lot of stuff together. And we, we've grown together. We've all grown, uh, you know, and, you know, it feels good. The players have grown. The coaches have grown. We've all grown. And, uh, you know, this process, uh, we've been going through it together. And uh, it's been fun. Uh, and it's going to continue to be fun. And uh, we just got to continue to take each step with the right mindset.